our mitochondria come from our mothers. It always starts with how healthy was your mother because that's your potential life. Again, epigenetically, you might live completely different than your mom, but if she gave you bad engines, you're going to have to do more. Beings of light, the mitochondria make bio photons. They also make infrared light, heat. The inputs of mitochondria are not carbs and fats. And then mitochondria make water. The water is extremely important. It's more important than the water you drink. That water is another form of energy. When the light sources hit our surfaces, that water traps that energy. And it, we literally make a battery out of it. And then our mitochondria also make infrared heat. That infrared heat basically helps charge up that water a little bit more, but it also makes the mitochondria, you take your mitochondria engines, you put them into the world where you're at, and you try to figure out how do you optimize how they can make ATP, water, carbon dioxide, and infrared light. You related our cardiovascular health, the health of our mitochondria to the water, the sun, our light, and the soil. So everything that comes from nature, which I think holds a lot of wisdom in a world where we become so reactive. You know, we go to a cardiovascular doctor and it's all about prevention or going on a medication without getting to the foundation of the body first, which is what you're talking about.